Hi everybody, welcome to this week's Fit Diaries. This last week has been a bit of a challenge for me. I'm still struggling with finding the balance of sort of the new constraints placed on my life with my neurological condition, the sleep disorder, and still wanting to work towards my goals and balance all of that. And I have not been handling the stress as well as I would have liked. So I've done a lot of kind of reflecting and stuff this week it's specifically what I've been working on in my meditation this week, just trying to figure out what was going on because nothing was really seeming to fall into place and I was really finding that everything took a lot of effort and that wasn't the way that I wanted things to be. I needed to kind of really figure out sort of a new kind of strategy, a new plan that I can still reach my goals taking into consideration that I need to sleep longer, my schedule is going to be different, and there are other considerations that I need to keep in mind that haven't always been there. And I found that really kind of what I was doing was while I was focusing so much on that and trying to figure that out, I was slipping back into some of my old bad habits. Now, when I get focused on something, I really, really get focused on it. And I can that can be a detriment especially when it comes to my work because I can I can't I don't shut off I work from home so you know writing and and sharing on social media and doing things like that really to to help with my business and to help you guys I love it and because it's something that I love I could work all the time and that was something that I really focused on getting out of last year and creating the boundaries around when I'm working and when I'm not working and it started to work really well and I think kind of something switched over in my brain when I essentially lost those two hours because I'm gonna have to sleep more in the mornings and I kind of feel like I've lost my mornings and then sort of the shift into well if I have less hours in a day I have to work harder in that amount of time to get the same amount of work done although that wasn't consciously what I was thinking and what I was trying to do I kind of feel looking back on it that that was sort of what I was trying to do and it didn't work at all it didn't light the fire under me it didn't really make me want to do more work I just kind of would shut down and like I said was really feeling like I was walking through mud or walking through quicksand just trying to get anything done and I was wondering why everything felt so difficult all the time and I was not thinking clearly and I was really through my meditation coming to terms with the fact that I was really really stressed and I didn't realize it and I thought that especially after last year I was more in tune to when I was stressed and it kind of crept up on me that I was really really stressed really tense and not dealing with things the way that I should be I mentioned that I was falling back into some bad habits so things like checking my email and you know getting on my phone and Facebook and stuff sort of first thing in the morning and then being on it until too late at night whereas before I'd created some boundaries where you know I don't check my email I don't um, get on Facebook and stuff until I've had my morning and I'm ready for the day so that it can be the beginning part of my work day and I'm not you know eating my breakfast and enjoying my time with my husband in the morning while thinking about work and thinking about emails and things like that so I'm going to start to try to create those boundaries again for myself especially the one at night because I'm trying to adapt this new medication which keeps me awake I'm trying to figure out the exact dosage and uh, when to take it so I am having some issues sometimes with not being able to sleep at night and it's frustrating because I don't know whether that's due to the stress and my brain is going crazy with things or if it's due to the medication and it's just a matter of kind of figuring things out and it's been all over the place some nights it's like that some nights it's not so that's frustrating as well because I'm really trying to stick to a solid schedule but then I'll have a couple nights in a row where I'll go to bed at a certain time to get enough sleep I won't fall asleep for two to three hours but I'll still want to get up at the same time but then after two days of that, I can really feel the lack of sleep in terms of being really fatigued. And that's the weird feeling, being really fatigued and knowing I need sleep, but taking a medication to wake me up. So I'm not feeling sleepy, but I'm really, really tired. And I feel that in my workouts, and it's, it's not good. I know it's not good. 
so then I'm having to adjust by trying to sleep in a little bit more to get enough sleep and overall it's kind of a mess right now and I think that that is something that is really bothering me as well because I want to get into a routine because I feel like if I get into that routine it's going to make me feel better and then I'm going to be able to really kind of hit my stride and that very base like that very basic idea of just getting that good solid sleep so I can feel good to then work on the things I want to work on is where my struggle is right now and I think I was kind of ignoring that and figuring that oh it'll all work itself out I just need to keep pushing towards the things I need to push on and it wasn't it wasn't working so now that I'm kind of realizing that I was again pushing too hard too soon I'm realizing that I just need to give my body and give myself some time to adjust to these changes a little bit more. I've only really been on this new medication less than a month and I know that it takes a lot longer to adapt and figure it out and I don't even have another follow up with my sleep specialist for another three weeks so that he knew it was going to take sort of that amount of time. So I'm just choosing to accept that that's a fact right now that I'm going to have to kind of change things around sometimes, focus on making sure that I am getting enough sleep, which may mean that sometimes I have to change my schedule and my to-do list with what I think I'm gonna get be able to get done in a day based on how much time in the day I have to work on things outside of my other commitments. And that is okay. I just have to realize that that's gonna be the case and I can't start a day with a list of 10 things that I wanna do realistically knowing that I'm not going to have enough time to get all those done in one day. And on the other side is recognizing some of the old habits that I've fallen back into, like spending too much time um, getting caught up in Facebook and on my email and kind of checking it constantly and really kind of creating times within the day when I do that, which is what I used to do. You know, I have certain times when I check my email, I just check them all, send all the emails back, done, don't check it again until later same thing with with Facebook and and all of that set things up you know send my posts reply to people who are sending me messages and then don't check it again until later you know maybe two three times a day maximum for just a few minutes and otherwise just get myself away from the computer unless I'm writing and then when I'm doing that it's really you know staying on that on that writing and not being tempted to click back to the uh, the Facebook tab or or whatever whatever it is I'm finding that I'm letting myself get caught up in those things that have been a problem for me in the past so that's kind of where I'm at figuring I really need to focus on the sleep and being okay with with that situation first and realizing that I can't have these huge expectations for what I'm going to be able to get done right now and that that's okay that this is a process that I'm moving through it's moving slower than I would like but that pretty much is always the case with anything that I want to do and just needing to accept that as long as I'm focusing on what it is that I need to be doing day to day I'm going the direction that I want to go and that everything is going to be okay and I can't rush it I really am trying to 100% believe that when I say it right now. I know that I don't, but it, it is, I am going to. I'm going to keep telling myself that because that is where I'm at right now. And I've been here before with my accident in 2009. I've been in a place where I wish I could get somewhere faster, but physically I just can't. And it's not going to help me to get down on myself about that. I just have to do what I have to do and know that I am going where I want to go. So that's where I'm at this week. And I hope you guys are having a great week. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share with anybody who you think might benefit from sharing my journey. If you have anyone who's going through something similar right now, whether they have an injury or whether they're just dealing with a situation that is somewhat outside of their control and they're having trouble with dichotomy between where they want to be and where they actually need to be and the struggle with that. Please share this video with them. I'd love for them to possibly be able to get something out of my own journey. 
And as always, feel free to send me a message, send me a question, anything that I can do to help you with your journey, I'm more than happy to. So have a great week, guys, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.